right, we are on. Ate the uh, short corner, piece it up, got a second bite out of them, third bite, finally stuck them. We are on. Just set back up. I was just talking to you guys. Had a short bill come in and eat the stinger. These guys really wanted to catch.
catch a short bill spearfish, so I'm really glad we got that out of the way. Got the short bill done, got the blue marlin. Now we're looking for the XXL blue marlin. And um, let's see if we get them. Now we're starting to talk, let's kill another progress. Really hard to process, dreaming like an object. Baby, we toxic, can't we stay on topic? I feel like we lost it, feel like we lost it. Take my love, don't waste it. All right, let's go get them. Get that one pile on the right long. The feather sword. Let's do it.
just got another one. That little guy was very feisty, I'll tell you that. Very feisty little bugger, but. Uh, two for two and a one for one on spears. Not bad, you know? Hookup rates coming back together here. On to the next.
Life is good. Let's go catch another one. All right, so for this episode, the question I've been receiving in my inbox quite a bit through my Instagram is, uh, what speed do I like to troll at, specifically marlin fishing? Um, I troll the same speed for everything out there, but I do get the question, what speed do you like to troll at for marlin? Um, for me, it's about eight knots, 8.2 knots to be specific. Okay, and now I know an RPM on my boat that kind of gets me to that. So I know, you know, I know my boat really well and I know an RPM that works for me really well and kind of hits a sweet spot on that boat uh, where I have minimal vibration. I get to the speed I want to get to. My lures look good and it seems to work for me. Um, how I came across finding that sweet spot RPM on my boat and this may work for you, may not, but what I basically have done and in every boat I've ever gotten on and had to run, what I would basically do is go up to about eight point, I would go up to about 8.5 knots, you know, um, get the boat going to about eight point, trying to be in an area where there's not current, right? Get my boat up to about eight, eight and a half knots. And then slowly I would start bringing the RPMs back until I got rid of any type of shudder or weird vibration and felt where it really just smoothed out uh, if there's any sound from the transmission where I could get but I don't want to go below eight knots so where I could get to that rpm and still have that sweet spot still have that same thing no vibration if you put a cup of water on your helm seat you could kind of see how your vibration is going right back it down to right about where you find that sweet spot that's how i found a sweet spot on boats that i fished on whether it makes a difference i couldn't tell you but for me personally it seems to make me feel confident and i seem to get bit um, at that rpm that's what i seem to do might work for you might not like i said no right or wrong but that's what i like to do and that's how i like to find where my little sweet spot is on that and then i know what speed I'm at and then I can tell also by knowing what speed I'm at when I'm at that RPM I can also tell if I'm going into the current or down current okay so whether I'm going against the current or with the current and if I'm going faster than 8.2 knots then I'm going with the current if I'm going slower than 8.2 knots I'm going against the current pretty simple um, you know on my boat there is you know my RPMs I troll at about uh, 1010 RPMs okay if I go to 1,020 RPMs, I get a little bit more sound whine in my transmission. I get a little bit more shudder and vibration, right? I bring it just down that tiny little bit down to 1,010, and I get a really sweet sound note, very minimal vibration, very minimal sound from the transmission, and it seems to work really good. If I go below that, if I go to like 980, it, it, it sounds good, but I'm going a little too slow. So I, if I was going to troll at that, I'd want to pull more aggressive lures. Anyways, that's what it is. Answer the question for you guys. 8.2 knots is about what I troll. Shoot me some more questions. Let's see if we can answer some stuff here. Go follow me on Instagram, Grander Marlin, and send me out some questions. All right, back to fishing.
thing in the morning. Eat the left long, the Koya large 614. And we are on. Pretty sick bite. Missed it first time. Came back and get him.
in and out in there, a little crack in there, and the car's pushing into. That one came up and ate the short corner. It was a XL Cantrum uh, Kaboom. I went, just went down to go fill my water, and I, Brad was down in the bathroom, and sure enough, they ate the short, rah, went over, pushed the drag up. Uh, good job in the chair. 